No? No. You work for that company? Yeah. J and K construction? The body. And but same thing. Y'all guys done you scare me it. before. I be thinking, I be thinking, I be under the impression that when y'all go put up these by the, the houses, y'all be checking the houses to see if they're empty and stuff like that. So y'all not going around stealing no houses or nothing, right? Because you know, all rights reserved, the Jews, you know, they like taking everybody houses. You giving out these for the houses? Say what? What kind of work do you do? Do you also do construction too? Do you do construction too? Cause my house got broken into a few times. Who's who's the? That's the boss. Who's the boss? In the green. Yo, what's up, big bro? What's going on, man? Yo, I was just asking them. Yo, my crib got broken into a couple times lately. Uh-huh. And I done noticed that I done had these cards uh-huh. on my shit. <laughs> I actually thought it was the, um, just to see the Indian dudes. I mean, all due respect. Yeah. So I'm asking them, like, yo, do y'all guys really <coughs> do with houses or, or y'all stealing houses and checking the houses when y'all passing the houses? So what kind of work do they do? Cause they say you was their boss. So what you, what you do? <laughs> oh, for real? Yo, them niggas just said that you was their. So what he just said to you when you came oh, right he here? Said, he said, "What's up, boss?" But not like, not like literally. Oh, oh, I'm your boss. Yo, you see that spooky shit? <laughs> you see that spooky? I like got asked both for them. My bad, big bro. No! That's my house, man. Get out of here, man. I tell you, who is these guys, man? Where's the other where's the other guy? I don't know. Did he go in my house? Yeah. What the hell? Yo! Bomba Clark. Yo! These guys. Yo, Brooklyn! These niggas is robbing houses, taking houses, scamming, scheming, human trafficking, sex trafficking, going all up in people's houses. Yo! They talking about they don't even know what the hell. What the fuck? Who is these guys? And you see, they just kind of going, they're not going door to door to door to door. What is these guys doing? See, they running around the block. They split up. And now they come back together. Yo. These guys are still in houses or something. This ain't right. They said that that, that was their boss. Who's their boss? He pointed over there and said, yo, that's my boss. Homeboy said, yo. I'm not they boss. Who's the boss? See, they done defunded the police. Nobody's not paying attention to what's going on in the community. I already almost got killed. I can't fucking try to save my life after my life is gone. Nah, man. There's somebody just, I showed you the footage yesterday. Somebody just tried to run up in my house and say it's abandoned. The Jewish lady. Nah, man. Yo, do y'all do work on the side? Huh? Do y'all also do construction work too? You know, you must be boss me photos. Oh, you just do the, you yeah. just put out the stickers? Yeah. We're going to boss me photos. No. What is his name? I don't know. You don't know your boss's name? Yeah. Call huh? Call the number? Who do I ask for though? Who pays you? The boss is uh, Pakistani. The boss is what? Pakistani? Yeah. 
What's his name? I don't know. You don't know his name? Bobby. Bobby? Bobby? Yeah, yeah, check, check. It don't say Bobby. Yeah. Jeff, Bobby. Jeff or Bobby? No. No, it don't say no Jeff or Bobby. Jeff. Menombe, okay? Oh, that's what. Uh, yeah, Bobby Menombe. No, that says Barber. Yo, Brooklyn. Something's going on. Now that go the Verizon guy. I never seen a Ver that's the Verizon guy again that they says is they boss. I never seen a Verizon guy like walking on foot though. He's walking on foot. He might be working with them. He's working on foot. He didn't even got no car. I never seen Verizon people just then he went to one house and gone, yo. What is they doing? Yo. Is he about to go link up with them around the corner? Wait a minute. That says Rose. Yo. Yo, you see the man down there? You see the green? He about to go meet up with these niggas around the corner, I think. Now we got another man right here. Yo, look at this. This stuff is spooky, man. So we caught, we recording each other right now. What's up, big bro? I'm trying to figure out why you recording everybody. I just drive by you there, you recording people. What's going on? He you says you're recording me because you see me recording. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen. To uh -huh. I'm trying to see. Why uh -huh. you recording people? And may I ask, can you identify yourself? I'm not a cop. I no, can here. you identify yourself? Why do I need to identify myself? Because I want to know who I'm speaking to. Why are you walking around recording people's license plate, recording people's cars? As a matter of fact, you know what? I know exactly what you do. Can you identify yourself? Can you identify yourself? Yo, YouTube, you see this man? He said he's living in an area and he's asking me questions about why I have my phone out. I don't know what gives this guy the authority or the right to feel that he can come and ask me about my human rights, my civil rights, my natural law rights. I'm always reserving all of my rights so I don't know if this guy's trying to hurt me or not. Is this guy a stalker? Is he, what is he doing? And I told you about these cars. I told you about these cars. Now he has the T-Tags. Remember we got the trans, we had the transportation, we had the transportation tags. Uh, no, no. Why is he recording people's license plates, recording people's vehicles, recording? So now he is following me and recording me. Because you came to harass and menace uh, me and you asking me questions, I just well, would like you to identify sense. yourself because you approached me. You approached me, sir, and I'd like you to identify yourself. I'm asking what's going on. Yeah. Oh, what, ha what is it? It's like, there's a, a, a... Yeah. I don't know if this is a gang stalker or not. Now, felonize, remember, organized harassment is a felony. Felony organized harassment is a crime.
So we're gonna get this entire thing right here. I don't know what's going on right here, but of course, as we say, all rights reserved in all places at all times. All my inalienable rights, all my unalienable rights in all places at all times, and proper persona still jurors. I reserve all my human rights, civil rights, natural law rights, universal law rights. All rights are reserved. Now this individual here approached me in his individual capacity and I don't understand. He feels like he has the jurisdiction and the authority to approach me and address me about any type of manner. I have the right to be on this public property and on this public land. He does not have the right to impede on my progress. Now he asked me a question. I asked him to just identify himself. When I asked him to identify himself, he says, you know what? I'm going to make a call. So I guess he's calling the police. So we'll see what, we'll see what law that I must be breaking. Um, we'll, 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 I'm always learning. I'm always learning. So we're going to learn together on this one. We're going to learn together on this one. Yo, this is for entertainment purposes only. Always reserve your rights. All rights reserved without prejudice in all places at all times. All my inalienable rights, all my unalienable rights. All rights known to me, all rights unknown to me. Impropria persona sojourist in my own proper person. I'm always reserving my rights exclusively without prejudice. I don't understand what's going on right here, but we just had somebody that just attempted to uh, murder and assassinate me right on this street here. So I don't know if this gentleman here is an accomplice and works with the people that just tried to take my life, but we will find out when the police comes. Now, of course, reserving all my natural rights, reserving all my human rights, all my universal rights, all my indigenous rights, all my UCC rights. I don't have a contract with this individual, no verbal or written contract. I do not have any idea who this individual is that's approaching me in his individual capacity. I do not know what crime that I have committed, but I would like to know. Now he did approach me and I'm concerned for my life and my well-being. So the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is I'm gonna ask a person to identify themselves. YouTube, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. The neighborhood community watch groups and the neighborhood on patrol groups, they are hiring people in the community to do illegal surveillance, illegal spying. YouTube, this is East Flatbush. This is Kings Highway, Avenue D. This is, they say in Washington, D.C. It's a lot of, allegedly, possibly, we already know this. There's a lot of identity theft going around in the neighborhood. There's a lot of automobile thefts going in the neighborhood. There's a lot of insurance theft in the neighborhood. There's human trafficking going on. There's organ harvesting going on. There's pedophilia going on. Listen, everybody needs to keep their eyes open in Brooklyn right now. You see all of these cars that's driving around? They got transportation plates but you don't even see these cars indulging in transportation. You understand? So you must keep your eyes aware. These people say they working for the trans, have transportation TLC license plates. But however, I'm confused because Uber is basically has a, a monopoly on uh, driving people around. People don't really call taxi service anymore. Now I know they do exist. 
So now you have some people that use their TLC and taxi service as a front. Human trafficking, sex trafficking is rampant out here in our community. We have to fucking pay attention for our kids, for our wives, and everybody. If somebody come up to you that you don't know, you ask them to identify themselves. They must identify themselves if they're gonna make a approach to identify you. Yeah, you see? You see? Why the fuck is you All rights reserved without prejudice. All rights reserved. All rights reserved without prejudice. All rights reserved without prejudice. Okay, well, he's going into his back of his car. We're going to see what's going on. We just tried to get murdered. We're going to see if he's trying to go harm me again. So that's two attempted murders, two attempted homicides. Yo, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yo. This guy is a threatening to assault me. I'm not sure what's going on in the community. Yo, we gotta be safe out here in this community. You caught your boss? Yeah, yeah. What did he say? They're going to say that she's looking to see the uh, uh, they, What, today? Yeah. No, but uh, Okay. I'm gonna be at the door, okay? okay. How long you think they're gonna be? What this guy gonna come chase me or bring out a fucking knife and try to kill me? We gonna catch this killing on... I'm not running. If you gonna kill me, you gonna kill me. I'm not running. I'm not running. You see, I told you about the neighborhood community watch groups. I don't know if this guy works with the neighborhood community watch groups. I'm not. Yo, Brooklyn, what the hell is going on out here? Now we got another individual right here. 
Are these are all of these people associated? I have no clue, but I've never seen any of these individuals around this neighborhood. Now these guys trying to put my life in jeopardy? Thank <laughs> you. 